Okay, YouTube, we're back in the shop. It is Saturday morning. Um, didn't do anything with this um, during the week because I needed to get, I remember to grab my cylinder hone, number one, from work. And uh, because I didn't like the way the finish and the cylinders came out, so I'm gonna take them open a little bit more and try and get the ring ridge completely gone. There's, I mean, there's so very little there anyways. But we're going to see if we can get it completely gone so I don't take a chance of busting a ring going in. Um, I had to get some more brake clean. So what I'm going to do this morning, probably take me an hour or so, is I am going to uh, work on prep work. What I call prep work. And uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to finish honing out the cylinders. And I'll do that first and foremost. And the reason I do that first is because you'll get metal shavings, you know, and particles of dust and such. And then when I'm all said and done with that, I'm going to take the brake clean and I'm going to shoot it through all of the oil passages, make sure there's no contamination. We'll take the air over there and we will blow out all the water passages, oil passages, dry out the block perfectly, make sure that all the surfaces are smooth and flat, and then we'll get into assembly. Now, uh, I'm just going to kind of document the assembly of it and show you guys some basic basic knowledge on how to put all this stuff together and I've got to do everything from cam bearings to you know obviously the mains and rods piston insulation and then when we get all said and done I'll show you how to properly break in a cam so this is going to be a multi-part series this uh, engine is going to end up being and uh, so yeah hope you guys follow along hope you learn some things and uh, you know comment and let me know when uh, when you see this video, comment and let me know what you think, and uh, if there's maybe something that I could be doing a little different to make it easier, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, and uh, <laughs> for those of you that aren't already, make sure to subscribe and rate. Okay, peoples, it's all prepped. I uh, went in with my glaze breaker. We only got one cylinder where there's still some pitting showing. And that was the worst of them, but it's it's actually it's fairly smooth with the surface. I just didn't dare take any more out of the cylinders. My uh, ring gap was starting to get on the verge of on the verge of me being uncomfortable with any wear that might happen down the road. But as you can see, if you uh, had seen the finish of the surface previously, I think I showed it in my last video, and the finish now it's much better. You got a nice cross hatch. It's not shiny. Went in there, I used a 280 grit stone, um, which is, for me, you know, if you're using chrome ollie rings, you want to use a real fine, you know, get a real nice surface. But uh, for just a standard steel, you know, ring, um, this is just fine. Uh, you got that cross hatch, and what that cross hatch will actually do is help to break in the, the rings, you know, to wear them into the cylinder walls. But uh, that's, that explanation is all for another video. Got it wiped down good, everything's pretty well cleaned up, blew out the oil passages, and now I'm on to my first step of assembly. The first thing I'm going to do here is, uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do is install my cam bearings. Now, I'm just going to babble while I'm talking because I intend for this to be a multi-part series, you know. But, uh, so maybe you guys can take away something or correct me here or there from wrong or whatever is going on there. But, uh, anyway, so we got our block flipped upside down like so. And we're going to get in our engine kit and we are going to find the cam bearings. Now, a lot of people won't replace their cam bearings when they just do a, I guess what you could call a farmer rebuild. Me, personally, I do. I, uh, it just makes me feel better about things. But, here we go. We got cam bearing numero uno. <clears throat> if you don't have one of these tools and you intend on doing a lot of motor work, um, I highly suggest you buy one. I don't know what it costs to get cam bearings pressed in anymore, but uh, this tool I think cost me 200 or something like that. You can remove and install cam bearings. 
on anything even up to the larger uh, the larger motors. Now it's going to be real hard to show you what I'm doing here, but um, I'm going to try. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this in through the cam journals. <clears throat> when I get then you always start with the back journal. When I get to the back journal, I'm going to slide this on there and I'll tighten up this nut which will tighten up that fit onto the cam bearing so that it all goes in, you know, so that it grabs it and can push it in. And then this collar right here will stop the uh, cam bearing or will stop the installer from pushing it in too far. The most important thing to remember when you're installing your cam bearings is to make sure that your groove is always lined up with your oil passage. If it's, if it's not, you will waste your cam immediately after you fire up. You won't even have a chance to you won't even have a chance to break in your cam. It'll be quick. It'll be a very quick and painless death. So here we go. We're going to install this through every one of the cam journals. And we're going to put our bearing here with the uh, with the um, uh, oil passage reference to the upside of it. Uh, I gotta find the right wrench to fit on the end of my installer so I can tighten it all up. And I think it's a 7 8 but we'll see here. Okay, it is a 7 8 So, we grab this ball on the end and we just uh, Tighten it up until we feel it snug onto the cam bearing. And then you give it, you take this cone here, push it in. And what that does is that just straightens up your, uh, your installer so that it's, everything's lined up in, in a straight, straight line. And it won't, that way it won't cock your, uh, that way it won't cock your bearing off sideways. And I gotta find my hammer whatever the heck I did with that. Ah, right here. And then, kind of slowly at first, make sure that's lined up there. Okay, and then kind of slowly at first, give it a couple taps. Make sure it's gonna, it's gonna start. And now it's starting a little better. You just want to make sure to check as you go along. And you can see that uh, that groove down there. You want to make sure that lines up with that passage so that you make sure that you're going to get oil to your cam bearing. So let's get this first one driven in. It would appear that uh, it would appear that we are in place. So you uh, take your wrench wherever I put that. Oh, where did I put it? How come I keep losing tools that I just was holding up? Oh, because I was looking right at it. That's why. Okay. Loosen that up. Uh, oh, we lost our expander. You don't have to pull this all the way out because, like I said, you're gonna you're gonna go from the back and work to the front always. And uh, the biggest reason for doing that is to make sure you don't garth up your your cam bearing. But then, when you're all done with that, you look down in there and uh, make sure that uh, that you got the oil passage on the cam bearing lined up with the uh, oil passage in the main bearing and you can see that we do so we're on to the next one <laughs> 